The oceans cover 70% of the Earth's surface and contain an enormous variety of organisms. While in general people have an image of the seas as a world populated by fish, whales, turtles, most of the living marine creatures are microscopic organisms. Among them microalgae, tiny single-cell marine plants, which usually float in the water, carried along by oceanic currents, form the phytoplankton. Microalgae, like diatoms and dinoflagellates, are fundamental components of the vegetation of marine ecosystems. Several microalgae can also be part of the bentos, the group of marine organisms living on, in or near the seabed. Some bentic dinoflagellates can produce toxins. In tropical areas they are especially well known because they cause a foodborne poisoning called chiguatera. Since the late 90s, the proliferation of some benthic dinoflagellate species, such as Osteopsis, has increased in temperate latitudes in very shallow rocky seabeds covered by microalgal communities. Osteopsis is about a twentieth of a millimeter in size and is therefore not visible to the naked eye. Osteopsis cells proliferate in macroalgal communities in the summer when the seawater is warm and relatively calm. They produce a mucus that, in the case of important blooms, can form a thick brownish biofilm visible underwater. Cells can swim freely in the water and can be easily resuspended by mechanical action. Thus, Osteopsis mucilaginous aggregates containing a high number of cells can also be found floating at the surface. In the blooming period, in rough seas and windy conditions, some blooms have coincided with outbreaks of illnesses among beachgoers exposed to seawater and or aerosols, such as respiratory and cutaneous irritations. Moreover, mass mortalities of marine organisms have been associated with important blooms of Osteopsis, but very little is still known about this phenomenon. Osteopsis blooms are natural events that have specific dynamics determined by environmental and biological factors. Wind and storms generally disperse the Osteopsis cells and favour the end of the bloom. But many aspects of the Osteopsis blooms are not well understood yet and for this reason at present researchers from different countries are working together to understand the ecology of Osteopsis blooms and their impacts on human health and in the ecosystems. Coordinated monitoring and advances in scientific research will provide tools for the prevention of health impacts and mitigation of the ecological and socio-economic consequences.